like a hell cut. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Kinetic Club and today's topic is IoT Internet of Things. I know most of you must be knowing what is IoT. It is simply an internet connected devices that has an ability to transfer or process the data without any human intervention. So we'll be having a very beautiful presentation for you guys by Samiksha Chitranshi and she will be mapping the IoT with five W's and one H rule where W stands for who, what, where, when, why and H stands for how. So we'll have a complete understanding of IoT like what is IoT, why it came to the market, when it came to the market and how it has been used in our day to day lives. So let's get started. <music> Hello folks, welcome back to our channel. I am Samiksha and today we will be learning about the technology via the famous questioning method or 5W1H method. So let's directly dive into the technology. Begin with the first W or who. So for today it is Internet of Things or IoT. Next W we are what it is basically. It's the interconnection of various devices, machines, appliances to generate data. Next W is when. When did it all start? So IoT term was coined by Kevin Ashton in 1999. Basically the humans interacted with each other via those telephones, SMS, known as the pre-internet era. With the advent of smart networks, we had email for exchange of information and also acted as a source of entertainment. The WWW, Internet of Content Era. Next with the advent of smart IT platforms and services, we had Web 2.0 with e-commerce websites such as Amazon, Flipkart, known as the Internet of Services era. With the advent of smartphones and applications, we could interact with our friends through Skype, Facebook, YouTube videos are there, social media, known as the Internet of People era. Next, with the advent of smart devices, smart TV and data coming into the picture, we have machines interacting with machines which could be used for identification, tracking, monitoring and automating tasks as well known as the Internet of Things era. Even when they are not Next is physically present, why do we need to learn with each other for better in the first place? So data people packets can access are transformed over internet, hence saving time and cost as well. Automated tasks are there for improved quality of products and services. Next is how. How do they even do that? So in our case, if we take a jar, IoT jar, which has sensors inbuilt, which measures the temperature and water levels as well. Data from these sensors is taken over the cloud and it is pre-processed. Since the user has an access to the application or the user interface, it guides the commands to the sensors, whether to switch on the kettle or the jar or switch off the jar as per the desired temperature levels. Next is where. Where is the IoT found such as smart city, smart retail and smart homes. In this case, we can see on clicking on the front door, the light switched on for the front door. Next example we have for the variables which we have. If I need to check on what all tasks I need to perform today, so I'll speak to the smart variable and find that I need to clean the house, buy milk, have lunch with Veronica. So today we learned about IoT and its summary in a single view. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for learning new concepts in and out. <laughs>